Hey, I'm Desmond Ortega. This is Yak Yak's Word Up, your twice weekly three minute ticket to a smarter you. And you know, not every intelligent word has to be big and hard to pronounce. In fact, today, we're going to prove it. Our first word is just one syllable long. If something is quick, to the point, maybe uh, like this podcast, it is best described as terse. Now, some other examples of terse materials may include Cliff's Notes, or how about those new one second commercials for radio? Definitely terse. Used in a sentence, I really enjoy talking with Mike because his statements are always terse. He avoids going off on tangents. Our second word describes what you should be feeling now by listening to this podcast. Smarter, yes, but how about erudite? That's the adjective that means scholarly or learned. It can be traced back to literary works from the 1400s and was originally used in a sarcastic or mocking way against intellectuals. It took on a more positive connotation sometime in the 19th century. Some of the most erudite people I can think of include Noam Chomsky, the professor emeritus at MIT, or Stephen Hawking, one of the world's greatest leaders in theoretical physics. In a sentence, Joseph is the most erudite person I know. He just got a master's in chemistry, and now he's pursuing a doctorate in rocket science. Terse and erudite, a couple of great adjectives to use for word up, don't you think? See you next time.